Um, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> hi everyone. My name is Deborah. Chen Deborah Imnida, and Deborah speechless. Okay, I just literally, I am speechless. I just watched the last episode of Hairs episode sixteen, and oh my goodness, how could you do that to me? How could you do that to us, dear writer? Kim so how could you? How could you? <laughs> it was like I was watching Boys Over Flowers again, and the whole Gun Jandi thing when she left him. Oh my goodness, how could you do this to me? <gasps> All right, for those of you who don't watch my reviews, I tend to start by saying my favorite my least and then hairs as a whole so this is what i'm gonna do okay and shout out to all you people that subscribe to my channel if you're not just hit that red button right now and subscribe and feel free to request dramas i'm also gonna do my review for bellamy pretty man slash beautiful man whatever you know it has with, with janjin suk all right let's do this my favorite scenes this week all right what was my favorite scenes my favorite scene number one was when Kim Tan found out about what his dad was planning for Cha In Song in terms of sending her to Buenos Aires, I don't know if I pronounced that well, and Kim Tan was super mad and he was locked in, but he called his mom and he told his mom that that's the first wife and told her to please come get him out of the house, and which was shocking because I expected the guards to stop her, but they couldn't stop her, so that was weird. Like, why would they leave the mom to get him but they wouldn't leave anyone else to get him oh well so the mom got him out of the house and she only got him out of the house because he was now oh he is now a major shareholder and you know power brings and money brings a lot of things okay so she took him out of the house and just so he could see chat and song and he went to the school when he got to the school he took her bag he poured like he carried her and took her somewhere and then poured all her stuff out and and he saw the what's it called plane ticket and he was super mad at her and he's like why can, why don't you trust me how can you do this to me etc etc and so anyway she started crying and he felt so bad for being a little bit violent and he wiped her tears and told her he's sorry but she should never leave him and he'll protect her and she said okay she will never leave him but she broke her promise okay i don't like you chat so how can you do that to him? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was one of my favorite scenes. My second favorite scene this week. What was my second favorite scene? Ooh, yeah. That was my second favorite scene. My second favorite scene was when Kim Tan was with Kim Woo Bin and they were both cleaning the windows and Kim Tan's brother and Kim Woo Bin Woo Bin's dad came in and he Kim Tan looked at Choi Young Do and was like, Did you call your father? And Choi Young Do was like, You, did you call your brother? <laughs> and Choi Young Do was like, Please just tell my brother that I, my father that I beat you up. Okay, so that was really cool. I like the interaction that they had and I love how this episode they were just getting closer. That was just so cute. That was one of my favorite scenes. My third favorite scene was when they were in the office of um, the mom and the mom told <laughs> The mom told them that Cho Young Do got 98 and Kim Tang got 100 over 100. <laughs> and when they left, Cho Young Do's dad was like telling Cho Young Do, Oh, I'm not I'm happy with you this time because you beat Kim Tan. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what type of father is are you? Your dad, your son got 98, but you're happy because he beats his friend or like former friend but anyway and then kim Tao's brother was like acting the right way it was so interesting how they put like the different perspectives like a really dark side and a really light side i like how the writer did that like two side by side i forgot what that's called in english but yeah anyway um so the brother was like oh my goodness you got 100 of 100 seriously dude and it was just so cute how he was like worried for kim tan and kim tan too was so happy like and was so happy and he's like oh my goodness i am so happy to see you angry and like worried that i got 100 of 100 and stuff so he promised his brother that he was gonna do better and he left so that was really cute my third favorite scene this week was when kim tan's mom went to meet rachel's mom and rachel was being all oh, rachel's mom was being a biatch and kim tan's mom was like dude seriously are you talking to me right now about morals because <clears throat> here you go girlfriend you're a cheat so um i love that scene i love how the mom was like telling 
um, Rachel's mom, even though Rachel's mom was being all mean to her, telling her how she doesn't want to speak to her because she's just like this woman that's not even a wife. And Kim Tan's mom took control and she said, Dude, I do not want to see your daughter married to my son. Okay, call off the engagement, woman. We want nothing to do with you. So that was really cool. And I love how that was my third favorite scene. My fourth favorite scene was when she went home and she met the dad, and the dad was all yakin, 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 like he always does. And she was with um she went to meet her son and her son was like oh my goodness Kim Tan was like do you did you really like break up this engagement just for me why and the mom was like oh I just wanted to do something for my son once and that was like the cutest thing ever she just wanted to be a mom to her son she's like the nicest oh my goodness she's the nicest K-drama mom I have ever met no for real though do you know any other K-drama mom that is as nice as her like for a rich woman so yeah that was really cute I'm like oh I love you, Omar. She was so cute, though. So I love that scene. My next favorite scene was when um, Cha Young Do was with Cha In Song, and he was also like asking her about Kim Tan. That's when Kim Tan was taken and he's like oh um he was kind of asking her but not asking her he he asked her oh so you came to school alone today and then when she started talking about kim tan he got all protective like move girl i don't want to talk about him but it was so obvious that he wanted to talk about him so i said that was really cute my next favorite scene was when kim tan and cho young cho young do and kim tan came to chatting songs works place to study for their homework slash project and chatting song was like dudes i know y'all are never gonna read this book so just watch the movie <laughs> okay and she gave them the movie and they had like one earpiece for both of them so that's like really cute though and when they were studying Kim Tan's bodyguards. Um, no, before that. Oh, before that. This one was so cute. When someone, a customer, was talking to Chat In Song in a really mean way, and um, Kim Tan and Kim Woo Bin wanted to like stand up and like, dude, what the heck are you doing to a friend? And she just looked at them and they all sat down and she kept on saying, "Yane, or sorry, I'm sorry." And that was just so cute, though. And then what do we see? The bodyguards come to take Kim Tan away, and Kim Tan stood up and he's like oh don't touch me don't be mean and Cha young was like dude if you need my help like for me to just throw a judo punch just ask for it and that, that was like the cutest thing ever i loved how he was willing to help kim tan and kim tan was like oh no i don't need you but obviously he needed him later but that was like the cutest thing ever next my favorite scene was when kim tan went home and he was locked at home and then Cha young do came to help him out and when Cha Young Do came, Cha Young Do came with like his old bodyguards because he asked Cha In Sung before then, Oh my goodness, what's happening with Kim Tan? How many bodyguards are they? And then he came, that was when the whole illegitimate thing came out, but I'm, I'll go back to that. But anyway, he came to the house, and that's like my favorite, favorite, favorite scene of all time in the whole drama this week, okay? And then he came to the house, and when he came to the house, they, he said they should let him in and they didn't want to let him in and two cats just drove by and this awesome bodyguards just like walked out and he's like oh tell them I am the son of Zeus Hotel okay and <laughs> they let him in and he met Kim Tan's dad and he said oh hey dad I am just here to do my homework with Kim Tan but if he's locked up we won't be able to do my our homework and he went upstairs to Kim Tan's room and he's like oh which is Kim Tan's room which was shocking because it got me questioning so Choi Young Do has never been to Kim Tan's room like ever I thought they were best friends so during their best friendship he never came to the house oh yeah figures he didn't because the mom was hidden okay and they couldn't let him see the mom okay now now it makes sense anyway he went to the room and when he went to the room he saw Kim Tan and he sat down and Kim Tan let him in like oh dude what are you doing here and he told Kim Tan about the whole illegitimate thing and how his three years of work has just been crumbled to the ground and Kim Tan was 
stole him. Oh, yes, please, can you get me out of here? And he took his helmet and <laughs> Kim Woo-bin helped him out. And I actually sincerely thought Kim Tan was the one wearing the helmet, but apparently it was Kim Woo-bin. They are so smart, though. And the bodyguards started fighting, and Kim Tan ran away. He jumped through the fence, so that was like really, really cool, though. And Kim Tan walked away, and Kim Tan went to see who he wanted to see. So I really, really love that part. Um, my next favorite scene was when Chan Young's dad told Kim Tan about Cha Im Song going abroad. I really liked that he did that. That was like, that meant a lot to me because you know he's never on anyone's side. But to me, I feel like he's more on Kim Tan's side because Kim Tan is like the sensible and the uh, nice one and the family, the only one that actually has brains, like, and is. How warm hearted because Arresta hadn't, and he feels Kim Tan is gonna be able to make the change. So he told Kim Tan about chatting song, and Kim Tan did something, obviously. So that was another favorite scene of mine, okay? Then my next favorite scene was when he also helped the brother. Like, the brother was all sad, You're gonna take my place, you're gonna become the next CEO. And he said, Well, all you need to do is take it back from me and fight your father and make sure you win your father. And that was a good advice that he gave him right. Right there so i really like that scene that was really touching my next favorite scene woo, was when <laughs> rachel kissed hyoshin to make um it's awkward between Kim Tan and Kang Hen Yoo, but it just didn't work out. Okay, girl. And Kang Hen Yoo kissed her back just because his teacher was there. Okay. And then what do we see next? The next day, Kim Tan comes to Hyoshin and he's like, oh, hi there, friend. <laughs> and they were just cool. And Hyoshin apologized and told him, dude, I didn't do this because of because I like her. I did it because I wanted someone else to see. And they were just cool. And they were totally not awkward with each other. And I was just totally jammed. I love that about them. How nothing can come between their friendship, no matter what, no matter who. So that was really cool. My next favorite scene was when Rachel called Kang Hen Yoo and she told him to get out of her way. But when she got to him, she noticed that she was slightly attracted to him and he noticed that too. So it was kind of awkward and then he decided to just go around her. So that's really cute. I see a couple from in there. Remember I told you, I think it was my last review that I think something's gonna happen to them that someone told me about it and I hadn't thought about that before, but now I do. So yes, it's finally coming to pass. Hachiro is a genius. Debra is a genius. Don't you think so too? I think. So, so um, they're finally getting back together. I think they're going to be together at the end of the day. And I actually ship them. It will be good. They will help each other. They have pretty messed up lives. Okay. <laughs> My next favorite scene. Kang and you did not go for the exam. I was so happy about that. And I am so happy his parents finally allow him to do what they want what he wants to do but what i didn't like is how the mom was acting like he wanted them to be angry and especially the mom and just voice out how she feels oh my goodness this mom is so weird is she like a robot or something she reminds me of the stepford wives oh my goodness just get angry at your son or something like stop being so perfect you're not perfect okay so um yeah that was touching he wanted to cry that really touched me that was really really sad okay Okay, that was like the saddest thing ever. Another favorite scene of mine was when Kim Tan's mom was talking to um, Cha In Sung's mom and she was all telling her, Oh no, don't leave. Have you already found someone else? Which family is she? Is she better than me? That's how they were so weird. But um, they're pretty cute though. I love those two. They're like comic relief to the whole tension. Next favorite scene was when um Kim Tan met his brother and he said oh yeah I just will need an apartment from you an apartment and his brother was like just an apartment dude I'll get you a car too <laughs> just make sure you vote for me okay and his brother now told him dude so wait are you trying to tell me you're just voting for me because of a girl and he said yes and I really like that because Kim Tan's fighting for a girl and he's kind of teaching his brother through that to fight for what he believes in and for his girlfriend because his brother is not fighting for the girl he actually kind of let her go just for the company so Kim Tan is kind of teaching everyone something as he, as he goes along and I sincerely love that now let's go to my least favorite scene. <gasps> 
least favorite scene number one that took the icing to the cake okay let's not go to that yet my least favorite scene number one let's not go to the icing yet is when the father or someone talked about the whole legitimate child thing and everyone found out about it and the father was like oh yeah go spread the news more so we can get our stock prices higher dude who does that who like makes his family fight just because he wants more money like seriously <laughs> he gets on my nerves next my next least favorite scene was when um what's her name Rachel's mom was being mean to Kim Tan's mom but Kim Tan's mom took control of that so I was cool with that my next third least favorite scene okay was when um Kim Tan had to be locked up in the house by his dad and he wanted to go to school and his dad came and his dad told him no dude you're not going to school go back inside and his dad just like walked away like nothing happened and it was, I was so mad oh my goodness the dad just kept annoying me throughout this episode I went to I wanted to get in there and just like pick him up or something okay no I, I didn't want to do that but yeah I wanted to do that anyways <laughs> another least favorite scene of mine was when um Kim Tan went to the what's it called place where Myung Soo hangs out and he was looking for chat in song but he didn't see chat in song and that kind of led to another of my favorite scenes because he went to where he knew Kim will be will be and that's where his mom left him and he went there and he saw Kim will be and he told Kim will be oh yeah I knew chat and song wasn't gonna be here stand up let's go I don't want you eating alone that's like the beginning of their brotherhood once more so that was really cute and I really like that scene but I felt bad for Kim will be in each time like he was he was it was like he was pulling strings he wanted his friend back he didn't want his friend back and he wanted Kim and chat in song but he knew that he had to let her go to his friend so I kind of felt bad for Kim Tan Kim will be in this week but he has totally won me over okay he has like gained all the points he needs because he's helping Kim Tan now so that's pretty awesome another of my least favorite scenes was during the stockholders meeting when the dad just played every single person there and just humiliated Kim Won and also let down Kim Tan's trust for anyone in that place because after humiliating his brother he also sent Chat and Sung away. Oh my goodness father I do not like you <sighs> another least favorite scene of mine was when they were having the dinner. Oh who has a dinner just to tell his son that I'm letting you go from the company? Ha 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 seriously dude I didn't like that scene. Another of my least favorite scene was how Cha In Sung separated from Kim Tan and Kim Woo Bin. Like, I love how Kim Woo Bin understood that she was leaving because he has gone through people leaving him before, so he knows what leads to that. And he was keeping he was keeping track of her, but when he saw her with Lee Min Ho, Kim Tan, he I am sure he assumed, oh, okay, he's with her, so everything's gonna be okay. She's not gonna leave, and he left. By the end of the day, after he, Kim Tan took her to the apartment and she promised him that she was going to move in with her family, she ran away, okay, or she was forced to go away. Girlfriend, why didn't you just tell Kim Tan? Oh my goodness, I just, I just don't get it. Why didn't you just tell Kim Tan? You could have done something, okay? But I guess when she heard how he was going to hide her, she felt, oh, okay, I can't really trust you because if this is the best you can do, maybe I should just leave with my mom. So I kind of get that. But have more trust in him for crying out loud, he's leaving her. Okay, okay. And um, so she left. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, that was the most heart wrenching thing ever when he heard that she left and he went home and his mom was also crying because she wanted her dear friend back and that's Chan In Sung's mom. And Kim Tan just kept on crying and he went to the school and he stayed by the locker and he was crying and that was just the most touching thing ever. And he went all around Seoul and I'm like, dude, seriously, you will never find her in Seoul. She ain't in Seoul no more. But anyway, that was the most touching thing ever. Now now I don't even know how they are ever gonna meet again because I really am sincerely stuck right now for the first time ever like writer kudos to you I really do not know how 
that's gonna happen like how she's gonna come back like is he gonna be dying and she's gonna have to come back like what are you gonna do though so yes i'm pretty interested interested to see what's gonna happen and how the writer's gonna play everything all out hence this week was super good oh passion hey finally gave someone energies and i was leaving home <laughs> and i know y'all were pretty excited for that that scene was really cute by the way and it was really cute how when she was going out like going to school kim tan was watching her and she showed him the plate saying she was gonna miss him and all that that was really cute though but that's really creepy though my goodness he's watching me every single time <laughs> but yeah um heads this week was really good it was what everything but oh my goodness did you really have to do that to us but i guess they had to because 18 19 20 they have like just i think three more episodes to go so it's coming to an end very soon so they had to like take you to the height the peak and all that so i'm really interested to see what else is gonna happen in heads and how rachel is gonna be with hyunshin and how maybe rachel's mom is gonna be with chan young's dad and all that and chan young i was actually kind of disappointed in you a little bit because like you're her best friend i expected you to get like why i knew you knew that something was wrong but you should have known that like something was really really long wrong and not ignored chat in song but like try to find out like don't let it go but he should have put more effort into trying to find out what was wrong but well oh well the writer wrote it that way and that's how it came out to be i really liked hairs this week what did you think about hairs this week and i also really did not like the ending this week i hated hate h-a-t-e with capital letters I hated the ending this week. What did y'all think about hairs this week? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you just feel, oh my goodness, were you crying throughout the ending? I didn't cry. I was just speechless. Were you speechless too? So tell me what you thought about hairs this week in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you hated hairs this week. And don't forget to give this video a like if you loved hairs this week. And don't forget to give this video a like if you just love me and you think I'm pretty awesome. Okay. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch out for my review of pretty man and my reasons for why you should watch pretty man okay and from me to y'all y'all know i got nothing for love for you bye